give the mind a little time to settle down, be with the breath, because it spends so much of its time wandering around. It needs to rest, gather its strength, and be in a place where it's not constantly being bombarded by things. Yesterday, with all these fires all around us, as the Buddha said, our eyes are on fire, our ears, our nose, tongue, body, mind are on fire. If we would, if we let greed, aversion, and delusion take them over, so the barbarment not only comes from outside, it also comes from inside. Greed comes up in the mind, and it burns our eyes, and it burns our ears. Anger comes up, delusion comes up. These things burn us. So we have to find a good, cool place to rest. That's why we bring the mind into the breath, allow the breath to be comfortable. There's no greed, aversion, or delusion right here, or if there is, it's very minimal. It gives the mind a chance to settle down, escape some of the fires of the world. If this is your safe place, and as long as your mind is still flammable, you have to be very careful. And it's bad enough that we have these things coming up from within us, but then there are things outside that we latch on to. This looks pretty. That looks nice. You want to get this. This you hate. You want to get rid of that. That's even more fire. That's like adding more fuel to the fires inside. So this place where you can get away from the fuel, get away from the fires. That's what, that way you can see things for what they are, and you can get a sense of what's actually going on. Because the worst part, of course, is that there's a lot of delusion involved in our fires, and we don't even see them. We don't even realize how much we're being burned by them. But when the mind finally gets cool like this, settles down with the breath, that's when you begin to get a sense on how normally hot and burning the mind is. So give it this place to settle down, be cool for a while. Protect yourself from the fires inside and the fires outside. This is your safe place. It has to be taken care of, care of, though. Be very careful around it, because the real place that's secure is something that's way beyond this. But this is the direction. This is the path there. So maintain this as carefully as you can. It's like having your escape route and this flammable material on either side of the route, but as long as you stay focused on the route, you're okay. <laughs>